in this Google Doc, I have a list of student names. Now what I'm looking for is I go to the add-ons menu and in the add-ons menu, I'm going to choose seating chart slides by Schoolytics. So I'm going to go from seating chart slides by Schoolytics. I'm going to choose show sidebar. Now this collects no PII, no personal data. All it's going to do is take each name on your Google Doc and it's going to send it to a Google Slides. So you'll see down here where it says seating chart slides by Schoolytics. You're going to create Google Slides. Now if you click here, visit Schoolytics.com, this add-on is free and it is sponsored by Schoolytics. So clicking that button will take you to Schoolytics.com where you can turn your data into action. But what you want to do to create your seating chart is click Create Google Slides. So you're going to click Create Google Slides and if you have pop-ups enabled, it is going to open up in a new tab. If you do not have pop-ups enabled, you're going to need to find this in your Google Drive. And so that is all it does. You'll see that I have each student's name on the list in a Google Slides. You are able to drag and move these around. They are just boxes. So if you wanted to put them into groups, you can drag them into groups any way that you want. It's going to do that for you if you already have a Google Slides. I'm going to make a new Google Slides. All right. I'm going to copy the link to this slides. Over in my Google Doc, in the sidebar, you'll see it gives me an option to link to slides that I already have. So instead of creating a new Google Slides, it's going to link to the slides I already have. I'm going to click the same button, Create Google Slides. So it's going to open up in a new tab, and you'll see these are the Hello Slides that I just made, and it has put it in here. If you want the student names to be in a different order, it does go in the same order as your Google Doc. Now, this doesn't have to be names. You can put any text if you just have vocabulary words. Parallelogram, triangle, square, transversal. You can take your vocabulary words, go to the add-ons menu, and choose seating chart slides by Schoolytics. Show the sidebar. Create Google Slides. And again, if your pop-ups are enabled, it's just going to open up in a new tab. And you can see here, maybe that was a little long, but that's okay because I can adjust this. And now I have each of my vocabulary words in its own box right here in Google Slides for you to do with whatever you would like.